Hey there, so today we are going to be learning how to embed uh, an Eventbrite ticket sales function onto your WordPress site. Now I use the Divi Builder, so it is really, really simple to add in this little bit of extra code, but um, for, for most of the standard WordPress themes, it's pretty easy to figure it out as well. So we want to embed a little ticketing box in there. You've got two options. You can just have a buy now button um, and that will open up uh, a window. So if you've already got all of the text, all of the information there for your sales, you can just put this little bit of code in. However, I want this embed on the page function. So I want this here. Now, if you're wondering how to get to this, sorry, I should have explained that first. So in your list of things to do, invent and promote website integrations. It's quite a new function uh, on Eventbrite. So embed on the page with your content. So we have the preview, I love this. You can buy your tickets. It gives you all of your pricing, um, everything there. You've got your, your little picture and the checkout. This function only works if you have a security certificate on your site. So this HTTPS. If you're not sure if you have it, have a look up at the top of your site here. And if it's got the little padlock, the HTTPS, S for secure, then you're fine. If you don't have that, get in touch and I'll help you put the security certificate on your site so you can use this function. Plus, it's just good to have it anyway. All right, so like 90% of my job, it is cutting and pasting. We are cutting and pasting this code. So in the embed the code. So we've copied that code. We're gonna go back over to my site. Now I use Divi, so it's in blocks. Elementor, uh, WP Bakery, Visual Composer Builder, they're all pretty much similar. What you're looking for is the text module. So, uh, sorry, is the code module. So I've got this text, I'm just gonna make sure that's it. Yep, upcoming Perth events. Yeah, so in here I want to insert a code module. So most of the visual builders will work in a similar function, or the, the, the drag and drop builders. So I am going to paste this. Here we go, that's all my code here, and that's it. That's it, it's that simple. We are gonna go and have a preview of the changes, so let's have a look at my workshop page. Loading, loading. Slow today, let's refresh this. Okay, so we've got our workshop page here, upcoming Perth events and workshops, and this is what it looks like on your page. It is a little box. People do not need to leave your site. And from uh, a user experience, uh, it, they are far more likely to buy a ticket if they don't have to go to other sites, if they don't have to think of their, uh, their credit card numbers, if they just make it easy for people. It's that simple. So you can buy your ticket, let's check out. And you've got all your payments, so you've got your credit card or your PayPal option, excellent send me the information, blah, 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 all of the standard. It keeps people on your site and it makes it really, really simple for people to buy a ticket and that is your goal. If you've got any questions about this, give me a shout, I'd be happy to help.